First of all, my heartly blessed, heartly obeisance in the lotus feet of my Guru Parpadman, Nitalila, Pravishnam, Vishnu Parsis, Madhavti Prakjan, Kisho Goswami Maharaj. And again, Millions of my dandar pranam in the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru, Nitya Lila, Pravishtam, Vishnu, Pasishma, Bhakti, Vedam, Swami Nara. We have discussed Dhruva Charitra, 
मनोरंजन उपाख्यान कपिल देव होती संभाग ऑल्सो इन ऑल चरित्र इट हैज बीन टोल इफ माइंड वन टू बी हैपी शिशु दो भजन ऑफ कृष्णा शांत हरिने दिस इज भक्ति जो बस इट इज वेरी रेयर टू है दर्शन ऑफ एनी हाई क्लास ऑफ डिवोटी बाई वी यू कैन हियर एंड देन यू विल सेलेक्ट योर गुरुदेव दीक्षा शिक्षा एंड देन विसंभेन गुरु सेवा बाई वी सर्विस वी कैन हैव भक्ति वे भक्ति ऑफ धूप वॉज नॉट प्योर इट इज कॉल सकाम भक्ति दैट इज यू हैज सम डिजायर दो ही एक्सेप्टेड भक्ति जो बट बाई That we desire something worldly, so we cannot follow him. And by Purandar Upa, can you saw that worldly sense gratification can make you happy to anyone? One day they will have to be old and give up this body. especially as the time of death to whom you will remember you will have to come in that that form you will remember your wife then you will be lady and if lady that the time of death they can remember any man or their lady If anyone remember his dog, then he must be dog. So don't keep dog. <laughs> Now, okay. Well, today we have talked about the Buddha, the King, uh, uh, and the Buddha. Parangjang. 哦，这个故事以及呢，何必天乌乌地乌地山旁哈，其中一些天干了。那么在所有这些故事里面呢，都讲到了，如果一个人想要真正的快乐，那么他必然要从事呢 ，Krishna b a j a n 也就是呢哈，从事对 Krishna 的这个这个灵修服务，唱诵 Krishna 的圣名。那么这称为呢 ，Bhakti Yoga， 不害瑜伽。但是在这个世界上，很难有能够得到呢高等的联谊。让你能够得以聆听，并且呢去获取哈取取啊啊启迪以及取取啊训示，然后呢我们去从事呢哈对咕噜的服务咕噜塞瓦，那么通过对咕噜的服务，我们才得以呢发展我们的奉爱巴体，那么不纯粹的巴体被称为呢萨坎多巴体，也就是混杂有其他的世俗欲望。尽管一个人接受了巴提优的奉爱瑜伽，但是他仍有仍然有世俗的欲望。但是终结来说，世俗欲望并不能给一个人带来快乐。我们终有老死之日。那么当老死之时，如果你记得什么，那么你具体得到这些躯体。比如说男人哈，记得他的妻子，那么他来世呢获得一个女女生。如果女人记得她丈夫的话呢，那么来世得一个男生。如果呢一个人啊记得他的狗的话，那么他可能哈将呢投生为狗。所以呢，我们哈不要养狗。बाबू इन भागवतन इट हैज बीन टोल्ड गीता ऑल्सो दट वॉट यू विल 
meditate at the time of death, you will become in form of that thing. Bhat Maharaj, being a high class professional, he left his wife, son, daughter, and very big kingdom and went to forest. But there, anyhow, he was in this stage of how a sakti then how that. But at the time of death he was remembering a deer and he became deer. His feet and life were in vain. Anyhow in his heart, but again he became in the same state. How? Shriman Padmanam Maharaj will speak Bhav Charitra. So, now, in the world, we will talk about the world, and we will talk about the world. So, when the world is in the world, we will talk about the world. 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 那么他呢，离开了妻儿子女，离开了伟大的王国，去到森林中隐修。那么在那里，他实际上已经呢哈到达了巴拉什哈这个阶段，也就是在阿萨提之后的这么一个非常高等哈这个灵修的阶段。但是在死亡之时，他却记起了那只鹿，所以他呢投胎为鹿，浪费了三世哈。在他第三世的时候呢，他才再次哈诞生为人。ओम ज्ञान तिमिरं दस्या ज्ञानं जनशलाकया शक्षुरुन मलितं जेना तस्माइ श्रीगुरुदे नमः सो शुभगुरुदे इस कंटिन्यूइंग टू ब्रिंग अस आ थ्रू द डिफरेंट कैंटोस ऑफ श्रीमद् भागवतम with the aim of teaching us what is pure bhakti. And as we heard from the story of Juva Maharaj, uh, there is bhakti which is executed with material desires mixed in. But that is not pure bhakti. Now in this story, in this history, from Srimad Bhagavatam, we are hearing about the life of a very great king named Bharat Maharaj, who was actually a very great devotee, great Vaishnava king. 那么今天在这段故事里面哈，我们我们将得以聆听哈这个伟大的奉献者，啊，普拉特大军的这个故事，他实际上哈是一个伟大的国王。And in fact, this planet Earth, ah,、uh, is named after him, Bharat Varsha. 那么实际上这个地球呢哈也以他也命命名的，被称为呢哈普拉特维什。Bharat Varsha. Varsha Varsha. So, Bharat Maharaj, in his kingdom, he was Vastly wealthy, he controlled all the lands on the surface of the earth. But yet, he had no attachment at all to his beautiful palaces, his wealth, his wives, his children. He gave up everything very easily, just as a person who passes stool goes to the toilet and leaves it behind. 那么尽管哈八十块钱的话呢哈呃非常之富有了，拥有了哈美丽的宫殿啊呃财富。妻子哈，以及呢，王国哈等等，但是呢，他像哈拉大便哈离开这个哈这个安葬之地一样，好铁手呢哈撒手而去。This was possible only because he had attained very high level 
of pure devotion to Krishna in the stage of bhav bhakti, as Srila Gurudev explained. 那么就像Shri的故事也知道一样,那么一个人要达到了刚刚高的阶段,就像在Bhav这个阶段呢,才能够做到这一点的。At that time he had no bhav, but when he went to forest giving up all, and he was doing devotion, at that time he reached up to bhav,是这样。那么Shri的故事也好,就出来了,在他抛弃了王国,其实子女。去灵修之时的话呢,他并没有达到那好巴斯阶段,而是在灵修修行之后的话呢,他才好逐渐呢,进达那这个巴斯阶段。So this great detachment arose within Bharat Maharaj, and he left his kingdom behind, and he went to the forest, and there, on the banks of a very beautiful river, he began to perform his devotional practices. 所以的话呢,抛弃,一去的话,他伟大的这个王国,他的财富。那么巴斯大军的话呢,来到森林之中,在一个河岸边,在进行他的这个离休。And gradually he became immersed deeper and deeper in his moods of pure love for Krishna. 那么逐渐他越来越专注于呢,对于Krishna神圣的爱。He was very diligent in his spiritual practices, and every day he would perform all of his practices of bhakti, such as Shravanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam, etc. So, uh, the history describes that one day when he was in this beautiful forest surrounding there was a, a deer, a mother deer, who came to that area, and that mother deer was going to be crossing across the river, a, a small river, and there was a tiger that roared very loudly and frightened the mother deer. But the mother deer actually was almost full term pregnancy with a baby deer in her womb. And as she jumped across the river, this baby deer actually came out of her womb. Now she was lying on the other side of the river, and with very pitiful eyes, she looked at Bharat Maharaj, who was standing there witnessing this scene. And then she died. And Bharat Maharaj, he came there to that to the river, and quickly he picked up this uh, newborn baby deer in his arms. Now he brought the baby deer back to his ashram, and he began to look after the deer, uh, feeding the deer uh, the necessary uh, food every day so that the deer could grow up. But as he was looking after this baby deer, uh, he began to become very much attached to this deer. We see in this material world, people keep pets, animals, dogs, cats. They become very attached to them. So, but Bhagavad Maharaj is not an ordinary person, but yet he started to neglect his spiritual practices because of attachments to this deer. And he became absorbed in the deer so much so that he was constantly calling the deer to come and he was cuddling the deer, kissing the deer like this. 
所以呢，他因为呢哈非常的沉醉于哈这这小路了，所以呢经常哈叫他哈召唤他，好抱着他或是哈吻他。And in the course of becoming so attached like this, gradually he gave up his spiritual practices. 那么也因为这种的哈依恋不清的哈非常炽盛了，所以最后呢他完全哈放弃了自己的修行。Then one day, as that deer was growing up, now he、uh, became almost full size. He saw a, a whole group of deer, and he went running towards them. 那么这只鹿呢哈就长大了。有一日的话，看到一群哈鹿群啊走过，那么他呢就加入这个鹿群哈离开了。And Bharat Maharaj was looking everywhere for the deer. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? And he was lamenting and weeping for the deer. 那么巴拉克大军哈竟然呢会为这只鹿哈就是说呢呃哭泣啊，哈就是在寻找这只鹿哈，说它在哪哈在哪。So at this time. Just when Bharat Maharaj was so absorbed in this way, thinking about in separation move from his baby, from his dear, oh, he met his death at that time. Then Bharat Maharaj, in this kind of separation from his dear, in separation from his dear, he met his death. Then Bharat Maharaj, in this kind of separation from his dear, in separation from his dear, he met his death. Then Bharat Maharaj, in this kind of separation from his dear, in separation from his dear, he met his death. At the time of death, when we are about to leave this material body, what we are absorbed in thinking about definitely will attain that. So, Buddha Fang Ge has a very famous sutra that says that when we die, we think about the place of our spiritual residence. This is the place of our spiritual residence. This is the science of transmigration of the soul from one body to another. So, this is the science of transmigration of the soul from one body to another. So, this is the science of transmigration of the soul. Yam yam vāti śmaran bhāvam cyajat yante kalevaram Tam tam evaiti kaunteya sadāpad bhāva bhāvika So whatever mood, whatever bhāva, whatever one remembers very deeply at the time of death, he will become absorbed in that and he will attain that in his next life. 也就是说，死亡之时，一个人内心对生命的这个呃这个心绪，这个呃这个情感的话呢，在那个时候呢，他想想起的东西的话呢，他下次的话就到了那个地方。So Bharat Maharaj actually He took his birth in his next life as a deer. So, in this case, the Lord Krishna has been born as a deer. Just like Guru Dev said, if you keep dogs, then you have to become dog in your next life. Just like Guru Dev has said, if you keep dogs, then you have to become dog in your next life. So, Bharat Maharaj, in that body as a deer, Krishna, by the will of the Supreme Lord, uh, because of his previous spiritual practices, he could remember. That he had committed this mistake in his previous life, and therefore, in the body of a deer, he wanted to always stay in the forest nearby to where saintly persons were. 那么幸好哈投生为鹿了，那么也因为他前世的修行哈累积的这个结果，那么这只鹿呢也是不同寻常的，它能够记起自己的前身，并且经常的哈留居在呢这个圣人啊这个修炼阿斯兰哈附近。So he passed his life in this body of the deer in this way, ah.、Uh, And at the end of that life in the body of the deer, now he took birth in the family of a elevated Brahmin. 那么在结束的话，他入了这一生哈之后的话呢，他投生了一个婆罗门哈，一个呢非常呢啊高超的一位呢婆罗门的家庭。But because he was spiritually advanced from previous life, he could also remember that he had committed this mistake in that life as Bharat Maharaj, and now in this life. He was very careful, and he did not want to make the same mistake again. 那么因为哈，他呢是一个非常呃进步呃进步的灵魂呢，所以他能够记起哈前世的一些呢错误，所以他这次呢非常小心啊，避开哈在普拉托大军呢那辈子里面犯的错误。So therefore, in this life, uh, he is called Jadupara because he pretended to be kind of like a dumb person, uh, like a madman that he. Did not have any proper、uh, mental abilities. 那么呢，这一辈子里面，他的名字呢叫加达巴拉哈。那么加达的词义，这意思的话就是迟钝的哈，呆呀，啊，呆钝的，迟钝的，或者是说好像疯子一般的。Because he did not want that he would again become involved in material activities, he pretended to be this way, and therefore, although his father tried to instruct him in so many different types of knowledge and education. He would not learn that information. So, he, 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 he,
So therefore, after some time, his father and his brothers and family members, they saw that he was basically a useless person. So they gave up their attempts to try to educate him, and they simply gave him a very ordinary activity of sitting in the field to protect the rice fields from animals and birds that will come. So in this life he was very happy because now he could become internally completely absorbed in Krishna day and night without any distractions from anyone. So one day when he was sitting there and uh, guarding these rice fields, there were some worshippers of the goddess Kali who came in that area. They were searching for a human being who was like dull, like an animal that they could sacrifice. Very evil persons they were. 那么当时哈,卡利女神呢,一些呢,好,怪者呢,就在那个村子的附近呢,那么他们正想想寻找一个人哈,这种人的话呢,就说像动物一般的人呢,好,就很低等的一种人,来做人替。So they saw Jodhabharat sitting there, he was very strong body, very beautiful looking, but they could understand by his actions that he was like a dumb person. 那么呢,好,巴拉克大军呢,也在那个在场的哈,在场撞到,在场撞到了。so a few of them came and they grabbed Jad Bharat and they started tying him up and leading him away. But Jad Bharat, uh, because he was completely absorbed in the Supreme Lord, he had no fear at all and he just allowed himself to be led by them. So they brought him in the middle of the night to this temple of goddess Kali. Uh, and before the deity of Kali, they prepared him to be killed and sacrificed in front of her. They were trying to please Kali by offering a human sacrifice to her. Because in return, they wanted to get so many material uh, uh, benedictions from her. But the goddess Kali was watching this scene, and when the priest raised his sword to cut the head of Jad Bharat, Oh, then amazing thing happened. Suddenly the deity of Goddess Kali burst open and Goddess Kali herself came out of the deity and she grabbed the sword of this uh of this priest and she cut off the head of the priest. 那么这时候呢,卡利女神从这个神像里面爆出来了,那么她把这个祭司的剑拿过来,然后呢,把她的头给砍了。And so many of her uh, associates, they also came, and they killed everyone there in the room. 那么呢,卡利女神的其他同游的话呢,也通过来将那屋子里面其他人全杀了。Why? Because Goddess Kali is the energy of the Supreme Lord Krishna. She cannot tolerate the pure devotee. And also be harmed in any way like this. But Jad Bharat was very, very peaceful through all of this, and he was completely absorbed in Krishna. After this incident, Jad Bharat began to wander here and there everywhere on the surface of the earth. And one day as he was wandering in the public roads, there was a king named Rahugana who was being carried on a palanquin by four palanquin carriers. 
，然后呢，那么就刚好呢，有人抬着轿子哈，就把他就过那条路。So as Rahugana was being carried on the palanquin, one of the carriers became very tired. So Rahugana ordered that his guards should take anyone, any other citizen that they see on the side of the road who looks very stout and strong, and they should bring him for this service. 那么 Rahugana 这个轿夫哈，其中一个轿夫呢已经非常的累了。那么他就想哈，就在市民里面挑选一个哈，身强力壮的哈，来顶替顶替他。So they saw Jadvaras, and he was very strong. So immediately they came and they brought him to the palanquin, and Jadvaras was in complete agreement. He did; he gave no protest. So they also saw Jadvaras, and he was very strong. So they brought him to the palanquin, and Jadvaras was in complete agreement. He did; he gave no protest. So they also saw Jadvaras, and he was very strong. So they brought him to the palanquin, and Jadvaras was in complete agreement. He did; he gave no protest. So they also saw Jadvaras, and he was very strong. So they brought him to the palanquin, and Jadvaras was in complete agreement. He did; he gave no protest. So they also saw Jadvaras, and he was very strong. So they brought him to the palanquin, and Jadvaras was in complete agreement. He did; he gave no protest. So they also saw Jadvaras, and he was very strong. So they brought him to the palanquin, and Jadvaras was in complete agreement. He did; he gave no protest. So they also As he was walking, he was noticing that there were many ants falling on the ground, and therefore he was stepping here and stepping there. And because he was moving here and there, the whole palanquin was rocking, and the king Rahugana became very upset. 那么他呢一路上走着哈，因为呢地上呢这个路上的蚂蚁哈，所以他走路了哈，往往就是说呢啊左摆右摆的哈。那么这个国王呢 Rahugana 在里面呢哈，就觉得很不安了哈，也很生气哈。And he began to chastise、uh, all of the palanquin carriers. 那么开始责骂哈这些呢轿夫。And then they said, "No, it is not us. It is this new person who came. He is、uh, stepping in a very awkward way." 那么其他轿夫就说了哈，不是我们的错哈，是这个新来的人哈，他呢哈走路呢哈就是说呢，呃呃左一脚右一脚的。So then、uh, the king began to chastise. Uh, Jad Bharat. Actually, in the beginning, the king was sarcastic, and even though Jad Bharat was very stout and strong, he said, "Oh, are you so weak that you cannot carry this talent when you're so thin that you have no strength?" 那么呢，开始哈，这国王口气哈，非常的这个哈，就就是说呢，酸溜溜的哈，很很讽刺的哈。他本来加个巴拉长得很壮的哈，他就说哈，你难道很瘦吗？哈，很弱吗？难道这个轿子哈都抬不起来吗？ So Jad Bharat did not answer, and then the king commanded again, "Carry properly now." 那么呢，哈，这个呢，国呃 ，Jad Jad 呃 ，Jad Bharat 哈，没有回答的话哈，所以呢，这个国王说哈，那那继续哈，抬轿吧。So as they moved along again, Jad Bharat was trying to avoid stepping on the ants, and the palanquin was rocking, and now the king became very upset. 那么呢，哈，在一路走的话呢，哈，也是的，哈，这个呃 ，Jad Bharat 哈，为了避开这个蚂蚁哈。就是说呢，走路哈摇摇摆摆的，那个国王哈就非常的在里面呢，非常不高兴。And now the king is very severely chastised. He said, "Do you know who I am? I'm the king. I can punish you." 那么这个国王就就生气了哈，他就说了，他说你知道我是谁吗哈？我可以呢哈惩罚你。嗯。So then Jad Bharat, ah,、uh, he looked at the king, and he said, "Now, now the king who was chastising him, Jad Bharat said to him." A very amazing thing. 那么呢，加德巴拉哈就对着这个责骂他的国王哈说了一些呢哈非常的哈，哎令人惊讶的一些言，就这些话语了。And he said to him, "Yes, so you are the king at this time, but only because of karma, because of the modes of material nature, you have taken birth as king, and I am your subject. But in any next life, I can become the king, and you can become the subject." 那么他说了哈，现在是的哈，你是国王哈，因为一种业报哈，也因为了物质自然的规律。那么呢，你现在贵为国王啊，我只不过是你的一个子民。那么来世的话呢，有可能我是国国王哈，你你是我的臣民。And you have chastised me, saying that I am so thin and I am so weak. Ah,、uh, but actually, I am neither thin nor fat. I am neither strong nor weak, because that is only this material body. And I am the eternal soul within this body. I am not this body. 他说你你你你说我哈又瘦又瘦又弱哈又虚弱。实际上的话呢，我不是瘦哈也不胖哈，我既不强壮也不虚弱，我不是这个身体，而我是呢哈在身体里面那个灵魂。Now when King Rahugana saw how this person was answering him, he began to understand. Oh, this is no ordinary person. He is actually a person of great transcendental knowledge. 那么这个拉库贡纳王的话呢，听了他这番话语的话呢，哈，就觉得了哈，这绝对哈不是一个呢哈，一个普通的啊普通的人来的。那么他的话里面哈，具有一种呢超然的哈这种的智慧
And immediately the king got off his palanquin. Huh? And very respectfully, he addressed Zadbarat. And he said, oh, Are you, are you, uh, Zatatreya, some very great sage, coming in disguise like this? And he did his Dandavat Pranam to Jagbarat. And now he began to ask questions to Jagbarat. I, I can understand that you are a very elevated spiritual personality and you understand the true nature of the soul and how the soul is different from this body. But I have a question I want to ask to you because I cannot understand the nature of the soul. We understand that the soul is different than this body, but yet we experience the pains and pleasures of this body. And therefore we identify ourselves with this pain and pleasure. We experience this. So it must be that the soul is actually connected with this body. And then he gave the example that when you have a fire, and you have a pot of water and rice on the fire. So the fire is not directly touching the rice. The fire is only touching the pot. And the pot is becoming hot and that is making the water hot. And the water becoming hot makes the rice hot. So therefore it appears that there is a connection between the fire and the rice. So therefore there must be some connection between the soul and this physical body because we are experiencing the pains and pleasures of this body. So then Judd Barrett, he began to answer the king's question. And he explained, O oh, king, actually, the soul is always completely transcendental to all the experiences of this physical body. But we see that just like a person in a dream is dreaming that he is being eaten by a tiger, so he is, uh, his body is experiencing uh, trembling and frightened like this. But when he wakes up from the dream, he understands, oh, this is only a mental concussion created by my mind. So in the same way the soul is experiencing, but only through the mind, the soul is imagining that I am this body, everything connected with this body belongs to me. And he gave another example of a tree on the bank of a river. The tree's reflection and all the branches of the tree are reflected in the water of the river. But when a wind comes and causes the water of the river to move in small waves, then it appears that the branches of the tree are moving. But the tree is not moving. It is only caused by the reflection in the water. So in the same way, our condition within this material world is that the soul being absorbed in the identification of this body therefore imagines 
that he is experiencing the pains and pleasures of this body. 那么因为哈，这个灵魂的话呢，专注在心意哈，这个层面的东西的，所以他呢，想象着哈，经历到痛苦快乐。So, but、uh, Judd Bharat explained all these truths of the Atma of the eternal soul to King Rahuvana, and King Rahuvana became very amazed. 所以呢，小的巴拉图哈，向那国王呢 Rahuvana 的话解释哈灵魂的真相啊，所以他非常的很震惊。And he asked him, "Oh, great sage, really, who are you?" What is your identity? I can understand you are keeping your real identity hidden. 那么老夫的老王的话就询问了哈，哦，伟大的哈圣人，你究竟是何人？我觉得哈，你将自己的身份的哈真实身份呢隐藏起来了。And then God Bar told him, He said, You know, in the in your past、uh, family ancestors, you have one king who was named Barat. I am he. 他说你知道吗哈，在你祖先里面有一个国王名字叫 Barat 哈，我曾经是他。So then the king Rahugana, oh, he was very thankful to、uh, Jad Bharat, and he became a very great devotee at that time. 那么呢，然后跟那哈王的话呢，也很感激哈，觉得巴拉这个教导王，他后来呢哈也成为呢一个哈伟大的一个奉献者。And then Jad Bharat he began to explain to King Rahugana that it is only by receiving the mercy of the pure devotee, huh? And taking the dust of the lotus feet of the pure devotee and bathing oneself in that dust, that one can achieve transcendental、uh, happiness and transcendental knowledge. 那么，像呃，巴拉的哈解释了哈，一个人只有积的哈纯粹奉献者的涟漪，哈，沐浴在呢纯粹奉献者哈这个足下的尘土里面呢，才能够哈得到呢。We can then we can get the transcendental happiness and transcendental knowledge of the soul. 超然的灵魂，超然的快乐哈和知识。And he said, not by,、uh, not by doing severe austerities and tapasyas, it cannot be attained by this. 那么并不是直接哈，这个他他写哈苦行啊等等这些东西呢，能得到这种。Not by following varnashram dharma and the material duties of society, it cannot be attained. 那么直接哈追随呢，呃，这个树林新社会阶层哈，也是不能够的，受死者不能够。Not, not even by renouncing everything in this world and taking sannyas, the, this high truth cannot be attained by these processes only. 甚至哈放弃呢一切东西成为 sannyas 哈也不能够呢哈得到呢这种。啊 ，vina nayat pada rajo bishetam. He said you must take、uh, the dust of the lotus feet of the pure Vaishnava and you must take bath in that. Only by this process. Can you attain pure transcendental love of Krishna? 我说的话，你只有急着哈得到呢这个纯粹奉献者莲花足的尘土哈，并且沐浴其中，你才能得到哈对 Krishna 纯粹的爱。So in this way, the story of Shrimad Bhagavatam tells us that we should be very careful in our spiritual practices and not make a mistake, be, like Jat like Bhagat Maharaj had made a mistake, and we should be very diligent in our spiritual practices and not be attached. To anything of this material world. So here, the this teacher, ah, just said, ah, we are in the daily life, ah, very careful, ah, not to make a mistake, 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 ah, 那么呢，还有一个哈呃要点呢，就是说呢哈，巴拉斯玛拉许为什么会堕落？后来哈就是说呢，变成鹿了。那么就是因为呢，他是一个人独修的，好，周围没有任何奉献者的联谊。Therefore, we should always stay in the association of devotees, especially the pure Uttam Vaishnavas. 所以呢，我们永远要保留在哈奉献者的这个圈子里面哈，这个联谊之中，尤其是呢哈，这个呢纯粹的哈这个奉献者。And one more important lesson is that at the time of death, whatever we are thinking of. We will attain that, but how can we control the process of thinking at the time of death? We have to cultivate that during our life. 那么呢，我们讲到了哈，死亡之时你想的东西的话呢，哈，你既然到了那个目的地，那么我们怎么去控制我们死亡之时的思绪呢？那么就是你啊，日常的时候呢，去培育哈，去呢，培育你这种哈，就呃，训练它啊，心意。Therefore, by constantly hearing and chanting and remembering Krishna. Like in this great festival, we're hearing from Sri Lagur Dev's lotus mouth.、Uh, by this powerful process, our minds will become constantly absorbed in Krishna. 那么，随着聆听、唱诵和冥想 Krishna 哈，就像我们在这次哈这个大节日里面哈所做的
想从从哈顾呃，除了顾院要以及聆听这些经典，那么我们才能够哈将心意的话呢，稳固在哈这种东在这种意识里面。And by chanting the holy names of Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Then throughout our whole life, we will remember Krishna at the time of death, and we will go to him. 那么，其准备时候都能够记住 Krishna 的话，然后你才能够去掉他那。Oh, in the life of Bharat Maharaj, we should be very careful. And as it all, don't be attached to anyone. Of this world, attachment should be given to Guru Dev, and Guru Dev will give this attachment to Krishna. Then you will be free from any attachment. Even don't be attached to your body also. What to tell others? Son, daughter, wife, husband, and then you can. Practice bhakti yoga in a real sense. Now, from endless time, we are suffering from so many things, so many problems, endless pain of endless birth and death. We are feeling. This is not the first time, but as he told, Bhag told to Rangan, King, only by good association, high class of personal association, you can have pure bhakti. And in pure bhakti, name is prominent. Harir Nam. हरे नाम हरे नाम वही वो के वाला कलाओ नास्ते वो नास्ते वो नास्ते हो जाता है वल्ली हरि नाम वल्ली हरि नाम एंड वल्ली हरि नाम इन दिस आयरन ने कलीजो बाय दिस वेरी इजली यू विल हैव भक्ति एंड देन कॉस Endless birth and death, all problems, and have Krishna birth. In the life of Ajamil, he hears all these things. Can you tell? Oh. 所以我们看到了哈，刚才讲到的八福大军的仪式。这一辈啊，那一世的故事，所以我们要离修的时候要非常小心。就像呢，刚才哈，他的妈妈朋友也讲到的，不要依附呢哈世间任何人，我们只应该依附古鲁，哦，古鲁的话呢会将我们的依附呢交给 Krishna， 以这样的方式呢哈，免于任何世间的依附，不要依附这个身体，啊，甚至你自己的身体啊，儿子、女儿、妻子哈、丈夫，而要在真正的意义意义上去修行呢 ，Krishna。呃，巴提尤卡哈，风爱瑜伽，因为如此以来，我们都在受苦，无量的生死，哦、呃，受尽了无量的苦头，这绝非是，哦、呃，就第一世哈，我们这样子的生活的。所以呢，也刚才也提到了，有只有好的哈，纯粹的拉斯奥的人，我们才能得到呢纯粹的巴提。那么在纯粹的巴提之中的话呢，以圣名拉玛哈为首要的。所以刚才呢，徐德姑在引述了哈这个细节。在卡利年代，如果要获得救赎，只有唱诵圣名，唱诵圣名，唱诵圣名，别无他法，别无他法，别无他法。所以通通过这个的话呢，我们将拥有阿弥陀佛的奉爱，穿越呢升起。
श्री कृष्ण लील कृतानिषुदक्षमदोयमदोयगुणाइसयुक्तम First of all, I offer my most humble and respectful obeisances to the lotus feet of my spiritual master, the divine grace, Om Vishnupad, Sri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, to the lotus feet of my well wishers and Shiksha Gurus, Nitalila Pravishna Om Vishnupad, Sri Srimad Gorga Vindaswami Maharaj, and Nitalila Pravishna Om Vishnupad, Sri Srimad A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. Shri白天地班长,那样的狗双女,马尔奇,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好,你好
或者去寻寻的哈，然后呢去跟另外一个男的哈，在呢这里面哈拥抱哈，又唱啊哈又笑这种呢状态泛泛的行为。Uh, uh, 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 uh,
呃，就放纵自己的行为了哈，就沉迷于哈这种非法的性生活哈，饮酒啊哈，酗酒等等，最后变成了实际上呢，从婆罗门这个位置上哈，完全堕落，成为一个呢哈，低贱的这个束缚贱民哈。One son, which was his youngest son, he loved him very much. His name was Narayana. 那么呢，他有最后呢养育了一个最小的儿子哈，名字呢叫 Narayan. So because of so much affection for his son, when he called his son for prasadam, he said, Narayana, come take your meal. Narayana, come with me. We're going out. Narayana, here, do this, do that. So he was constantly chanting. The name of his son, which was also simultaneously the transcendental holy name of the Lord. 所以呢，因为呢，哈，这样非常的疼爱啊，依恋这个儿子，所以呢，他呢总是哈呼唤他哈吃饭的时候呢，好拿来呢哈过来吃吃沙的呢，好跟他或者跟他一起出去，跟他一起玩儿等等。那么尽管呢哈他讲的是自己儿子的名字，但是受长呢哈这个名字呢也是至尊主拿来的名字。At a very old age, age of 88. He became old, and death was coming to him. It was his time to die. So, at that point, the Yamadutas, the servants of Yamaraj, who punish sinful people in this world, came to him and started to rip out from his heart his subtle body and his soul. 那么呢，当他死亡之时，哈，就是说，呃。就八十八岁的时候，年年很也年纪很大哈，即将呢就是说死的时候，那么阎罗王哈这鬼族呢，哦，那么那么猪头哈就来了，那么就把他这个精微的躯体和灵魂呢，想抽出哈他的心脏。Yeah, very fearsome, very ugly. They have long hair, they have big sharp teeth, and they're very fearful. So when persons who are sinful in this life approach death. They have an opportunity to see these person personalities are coming to take them to the court of Yamaraj, where they'll be judged and then sent to various hellish planets to prepare for their next life. 那么呢，这些哈，要么要么都跑的话呢，面目狰狞哈，长着獠牙哈，这个牙齿很长的。所以呢，任何一个呢哈，就说呢，罪行哈，罪孽深重的人呢，那么在死亡之时呢哈，有机会呢见到呢哈，阎罗王这个鬼族了，鬼差，他们将被拖到哈，这个阎罗王的这个哈。法庭上的哈宣判，他们下次哈到哪个地方去，啊承受他们这个啊罪业。So by Jamil's good fortune, at that time, thinking of what was most important to him, his dear son, his youngest son, he called out Narayan, Narayan, thinking of his son. 那么呢，在马加利尔哈，因为他的幸运了，那么在那个死亡之时的哈，他记起了自己的儿子，然后呢，在呼唤的哈他的名字 ，Narayan, Narayan。The people in this world, at the time of death, they generally think of what we do our entire life, and those activities, relationships, attachments, affections that we have that are most important to us. Those pictures and those thoughts they come into our mind at the time of death. So, 一般普通的人的话呢，他们这辈子里面哈所经历的东西哈，所做的活动，所呢哈拥有的关系啊等等这些东西的话呢。Native culture is so nice that in Indian families, the parents they name their children names of God, names of Krishna, names of Narayan. So this was the custom, and also Gurudev now has given through initiation many of you new names, which are spiritual names, names of Krishna, names of Radharani, names of Krishna's associates. 然后印度有个很好的传统哈，一般呢哈，孩子呢起名字呢都是神的名字哈，或是呢哈呃像主拉拉呀哈等等这些名字。那么现在我们也一样的哈，在修行之后的话呢，修布建呢也授予了门徒哈这些不同的名字，很多名字呢都是 Krishna 啊 r a d h a r a n i 等等这些灵性同流的名字。So just by saying one's own name or someone else calling us by our spiritual name, then there's so much benefit to that spiritual benefit. 所以呢，当我们说自己的名字或是别人呢称赞我们的名字的时候呢，都有很多哈灵性的这些益处。So at this time, even though the Yamadutas came to punish Ajamio, because he called the name of the Lord Narayan, Narayan or Vishnu's own servants came, the Vishnu Dutas, and they appeared there in a very wonderful glowing form. 所以呢，所以恐惧哈，他呼唤呢，这个 Narayan 哈，这个名字。所以呢，主拿来养的这个使者的话呢，就是能多产的好处来了。He 
नारायण विष्णु <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> 像主拉玛也是,也是上帝形象 and the and the Amadutas, they said this person is very sinful. His life he's committed so many sins. How can you stop us? So the Vishnu Dutas, then they began to explain that even though Ajamil had committed so many sinful activities, because he had called on the name of the Lord at the time of death, and because so many times during his life he had also called on the name of the Lord, his sinful activities had been minimized and actually completely wiped out, because his chanting was free from offense. <laughs> 尽管他从事了很多罪恶的活动,但是他死亡之时,称呼神的名字,并且在日常的时候也经常称呼神的名字,而且这种名字是没有冒犯的,所以不仅可以削减他的罪孽,到最极的程度,甚至可以完全就是
，或是呢批评啊，完全拉网哈，不遵守呢灵性导师训示，让灵性导师看作普通的哈凡人等等这些呢，都属于呢唱诵哈圣名的冒犯。And in the Namabas stage, the second stage called the clearing stage, the offensive stage, but not the pure stage. There are many different levels or categories. It may, it may mean that one just jokingly chants or inadvertently chants. Or in a、uh, angry way, chant, or a devotee who is practicing Christian consciousness, trying his best to follow and avoiding the offenses, but is not so developed in bhakti. And all these categories may be considered the second stage of nama bhav. 那么 nama bhav 这个第二阶段的话，属于的哈清洁的阶段，就清洁的哈，就是说属于呢没有冒犯的唱诵名，但是呢还不属于纯粹圣名。包括呢哈有时候呢开玩笑的时候哈唱诵圣名啊。还有以及哈，中间者在休息的过程中呢，呃，避开哈，小心的避开冒犯，但是呢，依然哈没有唱诵纯粹圣名，等等，这里面的哈层次相当之多的。All chanting awards so much benefit. Nama Parad also awards material benefit. Nama Bas awards liberation, and the pure chanting of the holy name awards pure devotional service, loving devotional service to Krishna. 那么冒犯性的圣名哈，可以呢赐予我们呢。物质性的得意哈，财富啊等等这物质性的东西，呃，那么阿爸，那是可以给我们解脱的。那么苏丹那纯粹圣灵呢，可以给我们对不行哈纯粹的爱。So the Vishnu Dudas had defeated the Yama Dudas and they had to leave. And the Vishnu Dudas then they disappeared. And Adamio, he got his life back. He should have died due to karma, but because of chanting, his karma was eradicated. All his sinful activities were were eradicated. And by the mercy of Narayan, he got a second chance to live this life and practice bhakti. 那么天使的话呢，维斯多塔击败了这些鬼族了哈，亚马多塔。所以呢，阿迦弥耶的话呢，尽管因为业报哈，卡玛的缘故的话呢，他就是应该受限受限已尽的了。但是呢，因为他唱诵主的圣名，所以呢，他的这个卡玛哈业报呢得到了修正啊，他呢获得了呢，就延长这个受限哈，他继续呢哈从事灵修。Ajamiya wanted to say something to the Vishnu Dudas, but immediately they disappeared because sometimes the devotee is put into separation to increase the intensity of desire in separation. So this is what happened here. 那么当时呢，阿杰米尔呢还想哈向呢这些维斯多塔说一些话，但是呢他们立即哈消失了。所以有时候呢，嗯。Again, what we saw when Ajamiya wanted to speak to the Vishnu Dudas. And say something, but they disappeared from his sight. Why? Because they wanted to increase his desire and separation. Plus, he had not developed his pure bhakti. Only his he had become liberated from his sins. Sajito. Not doctor, he was not. He has done only nama bhav, but not shuddha ne. A person cannot touch any parikar of Krishna or Vaikuntha until he is totally pure. So at that time he had not chanted pure name. Only to show the glory of name, they appeared in front of him. Only. So he could not touch. But in the end, when he went to her dwar and began to remember such a name by the grace of four hundred Krishna Dutta, then he became. Totally purified, and then same Vishnu Dut came, and they told that if you should come in as name, we will take you to bed. <coughs> then he questioned, why at that time you uh, start your tea? Now you are inviting me to come. Like to come with you? Then he they told. Now you are quite pure. You have love, pain, and now you can be with us, and you will be also part of the Vaikuntha. 
嗯，那么这里面哈有一个问题呢，就是说呢，为什么阿根廷哈当时呢这些天使然后立即消失了，他没有机会呢得以呢哈触碰他们或是与他们对话？那其实规定呢就提到了，因为呢阿根廷那念诵的是呢南无阿爸祖圣名的影子，而不是呢哈苏丹那姆纯粹的圣名，所以呢任何人呢如果他没有呢，就说任何人如果他不是呢纯洁的。他是不能够触碰主哈或主的同游的，所以他他必须哈就唱诵呢纯粹圣名才行的。所以当时的话呢，阿加利并不能啊，他他出名的，哈哈哈哈哈。所以他，他，他，他，他，他，他，他，他，他，他，जय हरिनाम महामंत्र की जय 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 राधा रमन हरि बो जय जय राधा रमन हरि बो
the family person is to come in the house royal house royal family of sister to my aunt that every time they used to come so one day angira rishi not of the angira rishi angira rishi visit to his royal palace and angira rishi gave him seat seat bar and the aarti and she very nice rest sister to my aunt did everything for angira rishi and at that time the hindu they were very very respectful of the royal tradition 那么圣人也经常的哈拜访的这些这些王族哈这些呃王家贵族，所以有日的话呢，呃，安吉尔利什啊，安吉尔利什呢就拜访了这些贵族王，所以这些贵族呢哈以这个呢呃同样的哈礼节的话呢来呃款待这个圣人哈，给他呢富足啊哈，包括呢砖糖送钱哈等等的这些呢呃礼节。They always ask him, "How are you? What you are doing? Your devotion is going on nicely or not?" Like Guru Dev Bahadur, the disciple of Divya Tima, Guru Dev gives some holy katha because this is our Guru Param line of our Guru Param Kara. In same way, Sister Jyoti Maharaj, when he gives some nice treatment to him, the Nongyari Sir asks, "Oh King, you are happy in this world? Everything is going on nicely?" Your military under your control, all subjects are happy. We ask one or another question. 那么呢，一般哈，圣人来到呢，一个人家中哈，都会询问的哈，你过得你能过得怎么样哈，等等这些问题。那么像施拉贡殿哈，所到之处呢哈，都会讲经。当然，这是我们这条史书传记的这个哈，这个传统。所以呢，这些开土王呢，非常好的款待了这个呢，汉吉拉利什。所以呢，这次圣德的话，就询问他哈，说你哈，你过得好快乐吗？啊、哦，你的成名怎么样哈？一个一个问题的哈，接着问他。其次，这对方来说 ，Yes, which are asking everything okay, but some hiccups are there. What is that? I have no son at all. So, who will be my successor after me, and who will do my ritual ceremony? 当时呢哈，这个这些开头啊呢就说了哈，你所问的哈都很好啊，我，但是呢哈，只有一个呢哈，就是。缺缺陷呢，就是说呢，我没有儿子，谁会成为我国王的继任者？啊，谁会呢给我做那些哈仪式呢 ？If somebody did some good activities in the heavenly planet, if not, will go to hellish planet. According to Vedic tradition, Punnamo Navaka Prayati Yasa Putra. There are so many sections of hellish planet. A ritual ceremony, who can deliver from the hellish planet of Put? He called Putra, but he told I have no Putra at all. 那么呢，就是说呢，在远古哈、哦、印度的话呢，他们呢这个理论呢，就是说呢，呃，你做好事哈、啊，做虔诚活动呢，就能上天堂哈、啊；做了不好的事要下地狱的。所以他说了哈，在地狱里面那些人的话呢，都急着他后代给他做这个各种的哈这个仪式，好、啊、各种的祭祭礼的话呢，可以呢提升。但是呢，我哈、啊、谁是我的儿子呢哈？<音乐> Like God, you are very near and dear to God. Kiss and kiss to God. So please give me one son. I beg to you, nothing else. 那么当时安吉拉利什呢，是对西盖德王说了哈，他说呢，你命中是无子的，哈。那么但是呢，西盖德王哈就一再的恳求哈，说你是呢哈，就是说呢是我的呃祝福者哈，你请你哈赐我一个儿子。安吉拉利什说，拜神，我们的 happy in this world. Don't be so much anger for your son. 那么安吉拉利什就说了哈。有儿子的哈也未必呢快乐哈，所以呢不要呢哈渴求这个儿子了。Better you can do for them your life will be successful. How will he not give you permanent happiness? 他说最好呢能够做法神哈灵修啊，这样才能给你的快乐。儿子是不能够永给你永恒的快乐的。But you know, insisting again and again, no. Please give me one son. I need only one son, nothing else. 那么其实开头一再的恳求圣人哈说的，哦，请给我哈赐我一个儿子哈，我就要一个儿子就行。When you insisting and begging again and again, only say, "Okay, give me one son, but he'll give you happiness and sorrows both." 那么呢，安吉拉利什哈在这个国王的极大的恳求下呢，就答应了哈。他说呢，我将赐你一个儿子，那么这个儿子哈将给你带来呢痛苦和快乐哈两者。King thought, okay, because when he'll take birth in our family, then he'll give happiness. Maybe when he grow up enough, then he'll not care for me. Not obey me, he will be disobedient to me, so no problem. 
所以呢，其实开头王就讲了哈，就说呢，儿子哈，诞生在一个家里面哈，会给家庭带来快乐。当然呢，他长大之后哈，如果不听从我哈，违背我啊，不在不照顾我，不在乎我的话呢，可能会给我哈，就带来痛苦。好，但是呢哈，我不在意这些东西。那么呢，安吉雷奇呢是将一个水果呢哈，就可以寄给了呢这个国王哈，说那你给那个杯子哈，谁吃了的话呢，谁就能好运。So King Tsukagatsu gives the fruit to his first queen, Tsukaduki, and she becomes pregnant, and in time, when she becomes matured, and he has a very beautiful and son. 那么呢，那个这个贝多芬哈将这个呃这个水果的话呢，给他的第一个哈，就这个杯子的。那么这个妃子呢，哈，就是说呢，怀孕了，然后呢，生了一个呢非常漂亮的儿子。Like from new moon to full moon, moon is increasing day by day and look much more attractive and beautiful. In the same way, sun is growing day by day, very healthy and very nicely. 那么就像新月哈到满月，那么这个月相哈变化一样。那么这个儿子哈出生之后呢，日益哈成长，然后呢，就是说非常的好，就是出色。King forgot completely and neglected his royal duty. And always attached with the the super duty queen, and he neglected completely other queens who was in his royal family. 那么当时呢，哈，这个国王的话呢，也忽略哈，他作为王室的职责了。哈，虽然宠爱呢，这个哈，给他养育了儿子这个妃子，我忽略了哈，其他的妃子。Always kissing the baby, always with the queen, other queens at all. As before, he had equal behavior with us, along with super duty. Nowadays. He not caring for us like a male servant and woman also. Okay, the son is the root of all evil. 那么其他王妃呢？哈，就就心怀忌恨的哈，说之前的话呢，国王对我们哈和呢这个，其实主体的是一样的。现在的话呢，他有了个儿子的哈，所以呢就就把我们哈当做女仆还不如了。所以呢哈，他说这个儿子的话就是问题的根源了。If there is no bamboo, there is no chance of fruit because fruit made of bamboo. So in same way. If there is no sun, there is no cause of negligence for us. So some other have to remove this sun from the world. And we made a conspiracy. 嗯，所以呢，这些王妃就说了哈，没有竹子的话呢，就没有笛子啊，做不了笛子。所以的话呢，没有这个儿子的话呢，也不会呢有我们这种哈被忽略哈做做末世的这种状态出现。所以他说一定哈要把这个儿子哈铲除了，这个王子铲除了，所以他们呢就密谋。Then they combine to drive the. The visitor, the male servant, points a log and asks her to mix some strong poison with his drinking milk, and she did so. 那么呢，这些王妃呢贿赂了哈这个呢呃抚养这个小王子的哈这个保姆，所以呢在这个保姆哈给他的食物里面呢掺杂了很这个毒啊这个下了个毒哈给小孩子。Then the boy drink that milk, and after that she put her on a chain. And boy was sleeping. 那么这个啊，小王子的话呢，吃了这个不配有毒药的这个牛奶之后呢，就被放到哈这个呢秋呃那个呃秋千哈这个摇床上了，摇摇床上哈睡着了。So boy used to sleep and woke up every day, and now he sleeps forever. He never woke up anymore. 那么哈小孩子一般哈早上会醒过来的，但是这个孩子的话一睡呢不醒。He became quite late. So this went to that boy. Why boy is not eating? Why not? Working, why looking for less? Then, this Peter 王呢，就去到儿子那里哈，就说呢，为什么孩子还没起床哈？为什么这么晚还没有起身 ？Then she asked her babysitter, the male servant, "Oh, go and feed my son. Why is he sleeping so much? I want to feed my breast milk, and I to feed him, bring him immediate from seeing." 嗯，那么当时呢，我他就询问了哈，他说为什么我的儿子就是孩子，孩子还是睡觉，还没有起来哈，赶快叫他过来哈，要喂他呢，这个奶喝的。When my father went there, she knows everything. But seeing the baby, he ran to his hospital, lamenting the hospital. Allah, Allah, son has died, son has died. 那么这个女仆大人哈也知道了事情的这个结果了，但是她假装哈在那里面哭哈。哎呀，不好了，不好了，孩子死了，孩子死了。As soon as the sister of the queen came and seen this baby, he began to lament so much and came to her. 那么呢哈，就去到推特的这个啊啊王妃呢哈，来到这个现场的话，发现自己儿子死了后，在那里哈就失声痛哭。Immediately he went into the palace, and King came somehow or other, helping the, keeping his、uh, hand on the shoulder of Lamin and Minister, 
and same like same place as one was died at bed. 那么这个国王哈也在呢，这个哈婆罗门这个仓库之下的话呢哈，来到了这个呢哈现场，就他的儿子哈已经去死掉了。All were eating so bitterly, but other queens who made conspiracy and mixed the poison with milk, they are eating more bitterly and lamenting more bitterly than Sister Duty, his own mother. 那么呢，所有人呢哈都哭，都哭的呼天抢地的哈，都很伤心啊。这样呢，那些下毒的王妃哈，他们哭的比他的母亲啊还要伤心。When all of eating bitterly, no one dare to console them. In the meantime, Sir Mongira Rishi came there along with Narad Rishi. Then, then, ha, all the people were crying very hard. No one could comfort them. So, at that time, the Sir Mongira Rishi, the Sir Mongira Rishi, came. Sir Mongira Rishi and Narad Rishi came. When Sir Mongira Rishi and Narad Rishi came, and then what is the cause of lamenting? When King Kaul the son expired. Then, at that time, Sir Mongira Rishi and Narad Rishi came. When Sir Mongira Rishi and Narad Rishi came, and then what is 怎么让你们哈这么伤心？那么呢，国王就说哈，儿子呢哈走了，去世了。The young girl she she fell on the chest of the boy. Oh, get up, get up. 那么呢，旁边一起哈将手呢放在这个孩子的哈这个胸前呢，说呢哈你起来吧哈，起身起身吧。Then boy came in sense again and so oh, you fell on your feet so bitterly, lamenting for you. Why are you not talking? 那么这个儿子哈就说这个孩子的话呢就起来哈恢复了知觉，那些人就。啊，那么安吉利奇就说哈，他说你的父母哈哭得这么伤心哈，为什么不跟你说话 ？Then boy told, Who is my mother? Who is my father? As before, I became their parents, I became father and mother. Which father or which father? I don't know them at all. 那么呢，这个孩子就说了哈，谁是我的父亲呢？哈，谁是我的母亲呢？在前世哈，我也有父亲，也有母亲。那么有这么多，就是说这么多哈，这个父母亲。Well, I am now present. I am more happy than here. Please let me go there. 我说呢，我现在所处的处境的话呢，哈，原底呢这个位置呢要快乐哈，让我走吧。The young lady told the king and queen, "You like to your son be here? He is telling he does not know you. He never recognized you." The young lady told, "Okay, he is happy there and could not recognize us. Don't like to be with us." Where is let us let him go there? Then the young lady asked the king to come to the king. He said, "Your son, your son, go to another place. That would be more happy. I don't want to stay here with you. I don't want to be with you." So the king said, "Okay. If he is happy there, then let him go." Now, Sir Guru Maharaj understood and realized why Angra Rishi told him as before. The son will be cause of happiness and distress. Now he understood. Now, Sir Guru Maharaj, now he understood. 为什么说呢？当时圣人给他儿子的时候就说了，这个儿子好像给你带来快乐，也将来给你带来痛苦。Angra Rishi told the king, "We have taken birth in this world. One day must have to give up this world, and none can go with him. He came alone, have to go alone." 那么呢 ，Angra Rishi 也说到了哈，就是说呢，任何人来到这个世界上的话呢，终有一日哈要走的。那么他走的时候呢哈，也是单独一个人；来的时候也是单独一个人。Some never give us eternal. Tranquility, peace of mind, and could not give permanent happiness. 那么儿子并不能给你哈带来那永恒的这种平和哈和那快乐。I don't know what details you know about Bhagavatam. How Dhundukari made chaos for his parents? Dhundukari in Bhagavat Mahatma, he made so much chaos. I'm not going to details this talk. He was born and made so much chaos for his family. Dhundukari 哈这个故事，那么可能不想讲那么多了哈那个故事。So, if you do bhajan, then your life will be successful. 那么，如果你灵修哈做发展的话呢，你们生命哈是成功的。Then king and queen Sitabuti both took initiation from Angira Rishi, because Angira Rishi told them, like in Simad Bhagavad Gita mentioned second chapter, the soul never dies, and none can cut the soul, none can burn the soul. And soul never take bath and bed, only the body change. So when he told all these things, Sitala to Maharaj, and Sitala to took initiation from Angira Rishi. 那么这个王妃和国王哈，最后呢就啊皈依了哈，这个呢圣人哈，嗯，这里是。Narad Rishi. Narad Rishi. Narad Rishi 哈，就是这个圣人。The mantra of Sankarsan. Yeah. And Narad Rishi, sorry, not Angira Rishi. They initiated by Narad Rishi. And he gave the mantra of Sankarsan. 那么他给予他的哈，这个曼陀罗是桑卡桑的曼陀罗，并且教导他们哈，灵魂不死的，哦哦，火不能烧，水不能熏哈，也不能被
啊，切啊等等啊，这个灵魂的这个本质的一个知识。Sing this, the other queen, they all came to Naradusi, and they told, we are the cause of death of this boy. We mix poison. Oh, now we understood what Blunder Mustafa did. Please excuse us. They are apologies to Naradusi and Ungirarisi. 那么其他的王妃哈、啊，看到这种情景的话，然后就像呢这个顺德哈，然后就一起呢就啊讲述了哈，他说是我们哈导致了这个孩子的死亡，因为我们哈在他的食物里面下毒哈投毒了，所以他请求了哈这个圣人的这个哈宽恕和原谅。Please accept us as your disciple and give us one to do, we will do for them also。我说呢哈，请接受我啊，请原谅宽恕我们，并且呢哈接受我们为门徒哈，授予我们曼陀罗，我们也想修行。Then Narasimha gave me one shot to all queen and they did bhajan also. 所以的话呢，南岛呢哈也将这个曼陀罗呢传授给了哈所有其他的王妃，然后呢他们也开始的哈走上了这个哈修行之路。During bhajan, Shikshara to Maharaj, of his perfection, became the friend of Lord Shiva. 那么呢，因为呢，灵修哈发展这个力量了哈，这个其实开土的话呢，最后成为了哈西朗神的这个朋友。He was nitya saman hoye galan ni bhajan kore. He was liberated and became parikara and kurusana and became friend of Lord Shiva. So teachings are in this history that is should not hankering for children. Children will not give us peace and tranquility of mind and not permanent happiness. If we do bhajan, then we our soul will be happy and then we get. Permanent happiness in this world and going continental world. So no call. Shri Ketu Maharaj was meditating the mantra of Sankarsan, and also Sankarsan is guru of Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva. So they are Lord Guru, Lord Godfather. Sankhar-Bhat-Chin-Ji-Testi。那么呢，其实这组呢，其实他呢接受的时候，他他想的这个呢，这个曼陀罗，所以呢，呃，他他想也是呢，希望神的呼，实际上呢，他跟希望神
那么早上七点半的话是呢呃主要的康复客户哈呃讲课或者是呢今天的客户还有另外一个主要的那个客户哈如果愿意呢也可以在这个时间来讲那么九点钟火气哈十点半呢是呢呃去帮客户妈妈